In this expectation, we're going to consider the fundamental counting principle. And that, that concerns yourself with the number of possibilities uh, we can have of two or more different outcomes. So let's look at this example here. Say in your closet you have three shirts and two pairs of pants. You want to figure out the total number of possible ways of getting dressed in the morning. Well, the slow way would be to actually consider each of the two different pairs of pants that you could wear. So we'll call this the first pair of pants and the second pair of pants. And if you put on that first pair of pants, well, then you'd have three different choices for your shirts to wear. We call this a tree diagram because it kind of looks like the branches of a tree. So if we wore the first pair of pants, we could also wear the, then the first shirt, the second shirt, or the third shirt. And if we put on the second pair of pants, we could then either put on the first shirt, the second shirt, or the third shirt. So we could have the first pair of pants and the first shirt, the first pair of pants and put on the second shirt, or the first pair of pants and put on the third shirt, or we could have put on that second pair of pants and the first shirt, the second pair of pants and the second shirt, and the second pair of pants and the third shirt. So by doing a simple tree diagram like this, we can list all the possible outcomes, and it appears that there are six different ways of getting dressed in the morning if you have three shirts and two pants. Well, no one wants to go and do these tree diagrams every time we have a question that asks us how many different ways can we, uh, how many different combinations of these two items can we have. So I think if you take a look at the number six, our answer here, and these two numbers, we might be able to get to the fundamental counting principle, which simply says if we have three choices here, and we have two choices here, then the total number of choices we can have can be found by multiplying the number of choices we have for each individual item. So three shirts and two pants, three times two, gives us six outcomes. The fundamental counting principle states that if one item can be selected in M ways and another item can be selected in N ways, then the total number of ways the two items can be selected is M times N ways. Say you're at a restaurant and uh, the restaurant has a special where you need to choose an appetizer, one entree, and one dessert. And they tell you there's four appeti appetizers to choose from, three entrees and three desserts. And you're sitting there wondering the uh, total number of meals that uh, this restaurant can put out. Well, you remember the fundamental counting principle. And you say, well, if I've got four appetizers and three entrees and three desserts, then the total number of ways a meal can be ordered would be four times three, twelve. Twelve times three, thirty-six. So there can be thirty-six different orders or different uh, combinations of appetizers, entrees, and desserts. Here's a question you probably always wondered. How many different three-digit even numbers are there? So how many different three-digit even numbers are there? So three digits. Well, we need to consider how many different how many different numbers can, can we uh, use for our first digit here? Well, since it must be a, the whole number must be a three-digit number, we can't have a zero. So we put a zero in here, we really only have a two-digit number. So we could use here the numbers one to nine. So there are nine different choices for our first digit. Now our second digit, we could actually have any of the numbers from zero to nine. So we actually have 10 different choices for our second digit. 
And our third digit has, says has to be an even number. Well, in order for it to be even, that's the number 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So we have five different choices for our last digit. So if we have nine choices here, ten choices here, and five choices here, the total number of three digit even numbers that exist are 9 times 10, which is 90, and 90 times 5, There you go. There will be 450 three-digit even numbers that exist.